Our Cardinals better. Hello, everybody, NASCAR fan 19. Back here for another Play My Opponent episode on Mad 16 this week against the Cardinals. On the injury front, Tremaine Johnson, cornerback Robert Quinn, defensive end, Greg Zerline, kicker, Andrew Donnell, um, offensive tackle, and suspended Trey Watts are out for the Rams. And for the Cardinals, we have Corey Redding, defensive tackle, Andre Ellington, running back, Gerard Powers, center or cornerback, Frosty Rucker, defensive tackle, Michael Floyd, wide receiver, and uh, suspended Daryl Washington, linebacker. And let's get into the game. No, I did not forget an intro. With Zerline now, we have Zach Hawker as our new kicker, and he is hopefully going to be okay, even though he's 65 rated. And the kick is off. Yeah, that would have sailed out in the end zone with Zerline. Now comes Carson Palmer, my fantasy saver, despite the fact that I have a four-game losing streak following a six-game winning streak. Oh, God. That didn't work out well. Oh, perfect inter opportunity for Jenkins interception. Way to get in there. Thought McDonald was going to get it. I don't know who was receiving, but I think he kind of pushed me out of the way, which is could have been an interference for all I cared, but that's fine. I got an interception. Oh, nice juking. Gets the first down on the first play of the offensive drive. Oh, oh, he's still on his feet. Oh, my God. That is insane. Come on. Oh, just out to the 11-yard line. But I thought he was gone. Greg Robinson did not block me at all. I had two guys on my left side. Made a bit of a juke move. And he stayed on his feet. I didn't have to press anything to keep him up there. There you go. That's that's just insane. Mason off to the side. He gets in there. And he's, he stays on his feet for the touchdown. There we go. Whatever it is about that weak running lane... It's working out because these guys are just they're just getting around these tackles and standing on the feet. That was Matthew out as that was Matthew out as well. Matthew comes in there and just he just misses the tackle and Mason jumps in there. Up goes the kick, and we are now winning 7-0 five minutes into the game. Oh, oh shoot, you missed her tackle. What was a nice penetration, no brockers. That's what she said. <laughs> Man, they are doing a really great job to... Oh, wait. Uh, no, I don't want to... I. It's telling me I can challenge the play, but I I don't think so. I think I think he got his feet in. I'm going to respect that. I'm not going to waste my challenge. That timeout might come in handy later in the game. Oh, man! Sims comes in there hot and knocks the ball out of his hands. Unfortunately, they're going to call that a pass forward, which I disagree with, but nonetheless, great coverage. Oh, man. Cody Davis filling in a cornerback spot because I'm running out of corners on the active roster. So that's how I modified it. He comes in there with a nice tackle, and I don't doubt his tackling skills because he plays a pretty mean special teams. Critical time right here. They're going four wide receivers. If we can get a penetration around him, and they didn't play the ball that well, and we have given up a touchdown. No idea why I have two guys back there, and neither of them could really actually get a play around him. Kind of felt like the same way Janoris Jenkins blew his coverage during the Bengals game, not on the game in real life. That's how it felt. And I could not get across the line, because I have inadequate blockers. So we're going to have to punt this one away. Every single time I come in there hot on the kick return tackles and I just lay them out. Oh my gosh, Marcus Robertson on the 30-yard line grabs an interception. Man, oh man, the secondary is doing great today. This is a great contrast to what Johnson was doing last week during the game. I'm going to go ahead and do the zone week again because this has been working out for us. We made two different plays of guys missing tackles so is it gonna be number three yeah yeah it was number three and I'm just thinking that these guys are just really bad tacklers even though they only gained me three yards oh no 
Marquez had that in his hands and he got laid out because of the freaking run after catch. Not out, Austin. You go. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, crap. I think I'm screwed. I'm just gonna throw to Austin. Where are you? Oh, he's still up! He's still up! He is still up! Oh! My freaking god! I screwed up the hot route. I thought I screwed up the pass. The guy missed the tackle. And then I think another guy missed the tackle. And it turned into a touchdown. That's insane. That is insane. I gotta see this again. Th these touchdowns are crazy. There goes one missed tackle, and their guy behind him misses. That guy misses the tackle, and he stays in bounds. And the sweet little 360, 540, blah, blah, blah. Just a wild celebration. And now it is going to be 14 to 7. Ugh. Crap, he got a really good block on us. Oh my freaking god! And Norris Jenkins grabs another tough interception, and he takes it back for like 20 more yards. This is absolutely insane. This is three interceptions, and we're not out of the first quarter yet. Freaking 97 rated Carson Palmer has thrown three interceptions so far. And you've got to wonder what the heck is going on with this Cardinals team. And that is how the first quarter is going to end. We are ahead 14-7 with three interceptions. And let's hope that that pace just continues so we get 12 interceptions on the game. Uh, yes, Marquez gets open. Gets some nice ground. Gets tossed around a little bit. Okay. Be aware. Oh, crap. Did not float it. Knew. Should have known that was going to happen. 46 yard field goal attempt. It goes up and it goes through. So now it's going to be 17 to 7. We've gained a 10 point lead on them. It's going to be two possessions for them to catch back up to us. Third and inches. So I think this is a good time to go ahead and blitz my uh, lineman. I'm going to go with Baron on this one. We'll run him in there quickly. Okay, they're not going to pass it anyway. And that's going to be pretty. Pretty okay. That went pretty far. Another pass on third down, and Laurinaitis got him tackled, and I think he might be down as well, and he's just on the one-yard line, so no touchdown just yet. That would be Gresham. And that is, I think that's their starting tight end, so that's not a good loss for them. If he stays down, which he... Yeah, it doesn't look good. It does not look good right now. Alright, obviously we've got to go for the blitz here on the... For, and it's a false start, never mind. For a second I thought I was going to get penalized for stepping out of bounds in the backfield. Fairly confident that's not a penalty, but I don't know. It's the NFL. Oh, Baron, you got in there nice and stayed out of the end zone. That could be critical. If you see this play, that probably meant it was critical. Oh my gosh, and he threw it through the, he threw it through the field goal post, so it's good. And from the one-yard line, they are kicking a field goal. It goes up, and hopefully it goes through. So now it's 17 to 10. But man, what a stop from one-yard line away! Was was I was I control was I controlling Marquez? Cause I get the feeling like I was doing something really really wrong. But he and he stopped, and I threw it directly at a cornerback. And because I don't enjoy winning, I have tied the game up. I think I've stated my case why I like the run. Oh my God! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That was definitely on the one-yard line. Shut up. Yes, yeah, Sims. Great getting around that. Coming in clutch without Robert Quinn on the end and just knocks him down. Reading that run. All right, third and 14, guys. The pressure's on you to make something happen. And... Davis. Oh, the ball's fumbled. And Wong jumps on it. 
That's even better than getting the Puff Return! Oh my gosh! And if we don't get it, then that's fine because we're gonna get Puff Return, but... I will take a Fumble Recovery on the 24-yard line. Let's watch it, just make sure. He grabs it. I don't know when the ball was fumbled. We're gonna see it again. It, I think it was loose before. I think it was loose right away on the right on the hit. Freaking Cody Davis. I told you guys he was a hard hitter. No review. We have got the ball. Gurley once again is lining up in a line in a wide receiver spot. He might make something happen. He might be my guy. But he cannot catch. Marquez, you are just you're just screwing me. Why why is he above Brian Quick? I feel like we are just underutilizing Brian Quick because he is stuck at fourth on the death chart. Cause that literally just bobbled out of his hands. Well, that was a very underwhelming drive after that fumble recovery. But at least we got points. It is now 2017. We are taking a lead against Arizona. And frankly, this might be the time when we are holding them off for the final drive because we have two minutes and 23 seconds left. Aaron Donald comes in hot. He misses the sack. Cody Davis continues to smack people around. Where, where was he going with that tackle? Oh, yes. Laurinaitis, he is reading that coverage well. Stacked on the left. Which Fitzgerald's off to the right. Long swings around. He stays in bounds and he gets out of bounds. That's going to stop the clock. And they're going to be on the 40 yard line. That is not going to be a good place for them to kick. So we are going to take a punt return. And we're going to see if we can score with a minute and 34 seconds left and three timeouts. Cook. Yes. Okay. No huddle. Austin doing a nice job staying in bounds, unfortunately, but first down is received, and I need to no huddle it right now, please. Time keeps running out, trying to make commentary on me. What is with my people's hands? Yes, there we go. Thank you, Jared. Thank you very much. Come on, let's keep running it up. Okay, Jared's definitely being hold, held up there. Britt's got some space. And we're going to call a timeout right there. We're 22 seconds left. We're on the 22-yard line. Points are definitely plausible at this point. We just got to keep from getting an interception. I should not have said that. That's, def that's definitely going to jinx us now. Nope. Okay. Oh, my God. Thanks so much. I'm looking at Mason off to the side. Looking at, okay, you overthrew him. That's just fantastic. Well, we drove so far down, and all we got out of it was a field goal. But it could be a field goal that means a lot in the future. So now it is 23-17. And that is exactly the score it's going to be heading into halftime as they take a knee down. So yeah, it's been it's been pretty back and forth really. I mean, we've had the lead the entire time with the exception of a tie at 17. But we're keeping it real interesting in this game. And it still can go anyway. Okay, why is McQuaid playing on the side? Also present, Malcolm Brown, not even on the depth chart. Oh, well, he, he proved to be an effective blocker. Oh my god, yes. So many blocks. Such a late hit. I don't know what to say at this point with regards to Marquez. Because I feel like every time... I throw it directly at him. Something goes wrong. At some point, I need to be allowed to make my own coaching decisions. Eugene Sims comes in there hot and takes Palmer down for another nine yards. Aaron Donald got around there and he throws it away. So it's going to be a punt return for us now. Up, oh, you went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Gurley's still up. He's still up and he, oh my gosh, if that line was not there, I would have gone in for a touchdown. Or maybe at least inside the 10 yard line. He just did not get down. I could have, I could have kept going really. I thought that he was going to get around. I didn't think Britt was going to block me. So I kind of duped inside, but man, he just keeps going and going. He's still on his feet right there. 
just got, no got knocked out of bounds. Oh yes, Austin got a nice play and all the way down to the four yard line. And Gurley drops it in there. Touchdown Rams! And Rams announced her speaker voice. I'm going to go ahead and stick up the PAT. Despite the fact that it was trying to make me go for two, I just want some points because we're still 13 points ahead. So even if they get two touchdowns, God forbid, we'll still have a good solid lead over them. Okay, so who wants to claim responsibility for that one? What was my safe what were my safeties doing? Oh, okay, you gotta make that tackle. And on this play, Rockers gets through and that guy was wide open and I still took out his legs. Well now it's 30 to 24, and I know you might be yelling at me for to go for that too, but I honestly had no no confidence in my offense to make that happen. And somehow that would come back to bite me in the butt. Yes, Cook, he has some space. He gets all the way down to the 48 yard line. Oh God, oh God. Oh my freaking God. Uh, my, my game has just gone in a total free fall. I just got drilled straight in front of me. Baron's ready to go, and he takes him down! He takes him down before he can get to the line. Mark Barron comes in clutch. They're gonna go for a field goal from here, and I really needed that, because now it's only gonna be 30 to 27, and they run out the clock, so it's the end of the third quarter, and it's going to be 30 and 27, I hope. I would hope that it becomes 30 and 27, but, uh, okay. Are they serious? The they they changed quarters and that literally persuaded them to go for it. And they made it. The freak freaking fourth quarter. Just screwed my whole game. Long. Night fumble. Oh my gosh. Lor Laurinaitis. Oh my freaking god. This is absolutely insanity. He just... Oh my freaking god. Laura Knight is the champ in picking up that ball. Credit to... I can't remember who actually knocked it out of his hands. I gotta give credit to them too. They just freaking made that play happen. We're cutting out. We gotta give you credit. And it is going to belong to Mr. Chris Long. Rips the ball from his hands, and there's no doubt about that. That's not getting reviewed. And then Laura Knight is just runs it back, and there's nobody around him. That is the danger of making your quarterback run. Screw you're going for two. I am just taking the field goal and getting away from here. Because that was just absolutely epic. Kick it up. And now it is 37 to 24, folks. Folks. This game is ours. I think that is their fourth interception, in addition to two fumbles. And Akeem Ayers, he, did, he, he outstretches for that one. He just goes in there and goes bam, and takes it right in his hands. This is absolutely incredible. Well, that was definitely a pass interference. Does anyone want to call that for me? Nope, okay. That, thanks, refs. You know what time it is? It's time for zone week. And let's see if we can make the guys miss the tackle again. Hey, hey, hey. Great blocks, great blocks. Okay. Didn't get a great block there, so that didn't really help me out. Ah, oh my God. I feel like something had to be called there. That's a very disappointing way to end a drive. However, if I learned anything from the Bengals game last week, is that... I do not need to be aggressive. I can still score points. And that is exactly what we're going to do now. 40 to 24 now, and we still have 11 minutes left. 
So let's see if we can still contain them. Oh, Cody Davis is just hitting people every time he needs to hit somebody. Oh, and Akeem Ayers sticks his hand up like he was a teacher's pet. Oh, Donald got in there hot, and McDonald is going to keep him down. Another Donald McDonald. I just love that reference. William Hayes had the time. Oh, he got him in complete. Yes, okay. Now, considering where they are in the game, I'm going to assume they're going to go for... Okay, they're not going for it. They're kicking a field goal. This is not great strategy for them. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to argue it. Okay? Kick anytime you want. And they kick it up. It's 40-27 to 27 now. Don't know what their strategy is on this. I guess they assume they're going to get two more touchdowns in the next six minutes. But if you kick it right into my arms with an on onside kick, then you're kind of screwed. Okay, you're not even onside kicking it. So, yeah, I'm literally I'm going to waste the clock so hard. Ah, uh, Jukes. Jukes for Trey Mason. Jukes it. Jukes it. Critical play right here, guys. So if you want to actually make something happen, like Jared Cook, please tell me it was his first down. Yes! There we go. We are going to waste the clock on them besides them calling their timeouts. Oh, girl, he's going. He's going. And he's got another first down. How about that, guys? How about that? This game is going to be ours in the back. Oh, great blocking, Britt. Great blocking. Keeping it inbounds. They're going to waste their final timeout. And just for the banter, I am going to actually try to attempt to score this whilst still wasting clock. I know this probably seems like a very stupid idea. Possibility of fumbling and screwing the whole game up. But you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I just feel like it. I don't care what you think. Because how about that? Oh man, Trey Mason, you kind of juked a little too much there. There's such a thing as too much juking because you had a wide open lane right there. You jumped right into a defender, but you know what? I will take it. You did well. You did very well. Wasn't even a first down. Okay. How about you, girly? How about you? What say you? What say you? Okay. You were just a yard short and actually we stopped the clock. So that gives us the opportunity to score anyway. And okay, we scored. Trey Mason got the score. 12 seconds left anyway on the on this, on this clock. 47 to 27, guys. That is how this game is going to end up. That is not likely to be the score on Sunday, but you know what? I've won another game, so that makes me happy. I'm going for the fake. And okay, that didn't work. Okay, so this game ended at 46 to 27. Because I didn't press the right button for PAT. But, anyway, it's still a great score. I'm not going to look back on this and be like, oh, oh, dang, I didn't score 47. Crap. It's just what it is. And they're going to go for a Hail Mary on the last play of the game. Maybe the last two. But, <laughs> Gary, you can't score 19 points in the next 8 seconds. So, how about we do... Okay, we can't end on a sack. We're going to end on absolute nothing. Okay, well that's the game guys, 46-27, we have gotten away from our s sour loss last week, that's the best way to put it, but I am definitely glad about this result, if the Rams feel like doing that again, then do so, you know what, they, they beat the Cardinals in real life, didn't expect them to, even though we won a far game, it's, it still happened, so... Be it as it will, hopefully the game will end something like this. And I will be at the game, so I hope I see a good one. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below with other games you'd like to see or other ways I can improve this series. So, from here at the Edward Jones Dome with six Carson Palmer. Uh, okay, that wasn't all Carson. That wasn't all Carson, although... At least five of them were. So, yeah. Turnovers. That's that's the story of the game. As you see right there, we kind of give away three of them. But I keep rambling. So, NASCAR Fan 19, signing up. Mm.